Transient Ischemic Attack A transient ischemic attack, or TIA, is sometimes called a mini-stroke. A stroke happens when blood supply to the brain is cut off. When brain cells do not get enough blood, they can't get enough oxygen and you experience stroke symptoms. With a TIA, the blood flow to the brain is suddenly blocked and lasts only a few minutes. Symptoms usually go away within an hour, but may last up to 24 hours in some people, and they shouldn't be ignored. TIA happens when blood flow slows down in one of the major blood vessels that supply the brain. A blood clot in another part of the body breaks loose and travels to the brain. Or, a blood vessel inside the brain becomes narrow because of a buildup of a fatty substance called plaque. A TIA is a temporary stroke. The effects of a stroke, if it happens, can be very serious and lasting. If you think you are having symptoms of a TIA or stroke, even if they don't last, get medical help right away. Causes People who have certain risk factors are more likely to have a TIA. A risk factor is something that increases your chances of having a health problem. Common risk factors for TIA are having a personal or family history of stroke, being older, being a man, being African American. Other risk factors are high blood pressure, heart disease, blood vessel disease, cigarette smoking, not getting enough exercise, diabetes, poor diet, high cholesterol, being overweight, heavy alcohol use, use of birth control pills. Symptoms. Symptoms of TIA are like stroke symptoms. They start suddenly and may last for a few seconds or a few hours. The acronym FAST or F-A-S-T can help you remember these symptoms. F, face drooping or numbness, especially on one side. A, arm or leg weakness or numbness, usually on only one side of the body. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. You may also feel confused or have trouble understanding others. Other possible symptoms are vision problems, a sudden severe headache, dizziness, loss of balance, or trouble walking. Diagnosis. It's important to find the cause of TIA as soon as possible to prevent a stroke. Your healthcare provider will listen to your heart and the blood vessels in your neck, check the blood pressure in your arms, and examine your nervous system. Other tests you can expect are blood tests, such as a complete blood count, a blood sugar test, and a test that measures how long it takes for your blood to clot. An electrocardiogram, or EKG, to check for an abnormal heart rhythm. An ultrasound, which makes pictures of your heart and neck using sound waves. And you may have your brain and neck scanned by an MRI machine, which makes pictures using radio waves and a computer, or with a CT scanner, which is a special kind of x-ray taken by a computer. Treatment. The goal of treatment is to prevent stroke. The best treatment will depend on the cause of your TIA. Your treatment may include certain drugs called antiplatelets that prevent blood clots. These drugs work by keeping blood cells called platelets from sticking together. Aspirin is a common antiplatelet drug. Other drugs called anticoagulants are also used to prevent blood clots. They work by stopping the proteins that form blood clots. These drugs may be short or long acting. You may need one of these drugs if you have an irregular heartbeat called atrial fibrillation. You may also need surgery to open or restore blood flow in one of the major blood vessels in the neck. These blood vessels are called the carotid arteries and they are the main supply of blood to the brain. Surgery on your carotid artery can be done in two ways. One way is a surgery called an endarterectomy. This is an open surgery, which means a healthcare provider makes a cut in your neck and vessel to reach the area in the blood vessel that is narrowed or blocked. You may also have a less invasive procedure called an angioplasty. 
In a carotid angioplasty, your healthcare provider puts a long flexible tube called a catheter with a balloon on the end into your artery through a small cut. The healthcare provider then guides it to the narrow part of the artery and inflates the balloon to open the artery. A small wire mesh stent may then be placed inside the artery to help keep it open. Prevention. To prevent another TIA, it is important to take your medicines as ordered by your healthcare provider. You may also need to make some changes in the way you live your life. This includes quitting smoking and not drinking a lot of alcohol. It's also important to take steps to control any medical conditions you might have, like high blood pressure, heart disease, high cholesterol, and diabetes. You can do this by following the advice of your healthcare provider. To prevent TIA, don't smoke. Eat lots of vegetables, fruits, and lean meats, and skip fried food. Lose weight if you need to. Exercise regularly. Drink alcohol only in moderation. What to do? If you have symptoms of TIA, go to the hospital or call 911 right away. What we have learned. A transient ischemic attack is also called a mini stroke. True or false? The answer is true. Some symptoms of a TIA include having trouble walking or having trouble speaking clearly. True or false? The answer is true. If you have symptoms of a TIA, you should just wait for them to go away. True or false? The answer is false. You should get help right away.